So this week we're looking at time planning. We've done this in year nine. Obviously we only had two products in year nine and this time in year 10, you've got your three. So before you start, you actually are gonna need a copy of your recipes, including your method. If you've not got those to hand now, pause the tape and come back. Okay, so you should have your methods in front of you. All right, if you need a recipe, I'd like you to email me and I'll get look into it and email you back. Now, I want you to literally just color code these recipes. So you may have one blue, one green, and one in red. Don't use yellow. Yellow, when we're photocopying, does not show up very well. Okay, so this will make your life so much easier in the actual practical exam. You know from doing your two hour practical with two products, it can get very rushed, it can get very stressful. And the fact that they're in different colours helps you to quickly focus when you're under that pressure. So if you remember, we had a whiteboard last year and we divided our whiteboard into two. So what I've done now is I've set up a table on the template that is blank for you to fill in. But I've done one, all right, looking at three um, products that you potentially could be using. So this is only all right, just to make your life easy in the long run. What I've found is that uh, in the past, if you've gone and started doing your time planning and things don't match and you move it around, you lose part of your method, then you're missing a step out. And then you, when you actually get in the exam, it's very, very um, challenging. Um, so all I want you to do is pop your name of your product in. All right, as you can see, I've got pizza swirls with a salad. I've then got a lasagna. I've then got my fruit cheesecake and I've done them in different colours. And then simply and quickly, shouldn't take you all right, more than about five, ten minutes to do this part. So I'm actually wanting you to list the main steps for making each, each of your products. It is just literally, just adjusting it so you can see more at once. It is just literally to make your life easier. We're not going to, uh, when it comes to doing your planning. So you can see I've got for my pizza, I'm making my bread, I'm kneading it, I'm proving it. All right, then I'm moving on. I've just got my vegetables to chop because I'm going to make my own homemade tomato sauce. And then, sorry, this is getting on my nerves, you know me. I've got to just get it so you can see it all. Chopping the vegetables. Now, chopping vegetables, this is entirely your call and it depends how your brain works and how it would could become very stressful. You may choose to chop, all right, your vegetables all for your sauce together and for your toppings at the same time. So I've got to chop my vegetables, make my sauce, roll up, and I'm gonna put even bread base in there. Prepare your other toppings, whether that's cheese or your meat, add the toppings, bake, and then I've got a salad going with mine. So I've got my prepare my salad, present my product. So I've gone through the main steps, not loads of detail, not loads of words, just the quick outline steps. I've done the same for my lasagna. I've made my pasta, chilled, veg, meat sauce, made my pasta, made my white sauce, assembled, sprinkled, baked, present, and finished with my cheesecake. Okay. To get a higher grade, you know you are going to need to make your own bread. All right, that is your high skill. All right, to make your own pasta, again, high skill. And to upskill your cheesecake, I recommend making your own biscuits. All right, otherwise you are gonna be on a low skill. Most high skills, higher the grade, lower skills, lower the grade in practical. And your practical is where you lot shine. So let's get lots of skills in there. So from here, we're gonna think logically and just do an ordering system. What do I need to do first? And that's where we've got this order column. Now, the reality is that these biscuits need to bake and be cool before you can put your cheesecake topping on. All right, so I would recommend, number one, I'm gonna go and make my biscuits and get those to bake. After that, it's entirely up to you. You could potentially make your pasta. I'm gonna go and get make my bread, so that's number two because I want it to be able to prove and double in size. I'm then gonna go on and make my um, pasta. All right, I'm gonna chill that. Then from there, I may well go and make my cheesecake or I might choose to go and chop my vegetables. 
all right but you literally are going to work down and number each of the steps okay then you'll have a reflection and work out is that right is that not right and then yes you're happy with it so once you're happy with that order and sequence you're then going to move down to your time plan so i will have done your time plan now in the exam i'd like you to list your products using the color coder system just above your time plan what i'm trying to do with this activity is get you ready for your real life controlled assessment in year 11 that will start on the 1st of november so here you would list the products in the color coder system all right next we'll only look in this week at the timings for your time plan and also the order of work that's all i'm interested in sorry if you can hear a motorbike right back in the room so here all i'm interested like i said is the order of work and the timings remember all right we can do things at the 8.30, between 8.30 and 9, anything that we do in this box does not count towards your three hours. So we can get an awful lot of preparation done. I've done this in purple, just as a, a colour. You, I'll leave this in for you. So we've got a preparing all ourselves, what we're actually going to need to do. All right, we're putting on our oven. All right, we must make sure that we state, all right, electric, what we're putting it on and gas what we're putting it on all right we need to make sure that we're talking about both the gas and the electric you don't know what you're going to be using which one you're going to be using you might be using electric you might be using a gas one so you need to make sure you list both you must list both we also need to list here the any equipment that we need to get uh, ready in advance so greasing a baking tray can be done beforehand greasing your cheesecake tin can be done beforehand all right moving on so we're starting at nine o'clock that's why that time will be in and i've started to put and all i have done is copy and pasted information from my method now use the food processor as much as you possibly can when you're actually uh, preparing shortbread or pastry because it will speed things up all right much more quickly so using the food processor you can read i prepared my shortbread I've explained the method. I've used keywords. So I've got my sieve in there. All right. I've got um, till it's gone to breadcrumbs. All right. These are phrases until it is pressed flat. And it will help you when you do quality control later on. We've got a, pricking it with a fork and we're baking it. And we're actually putting the time and the temperature in. All right. So I've got my timing in. And I've got my temperature. That's really important. So that's gone in the oven. You've then got to, I find it easier, if I'm absolutely honest, is to do the whole of the actual time plan and then come back and do the timing. So work through, keep referring back. So we go back up here. What was the next thing I said I was going to do? Oh, yes, I'm going to make my bread. So number two, I'm making my bread. I'm proving and kneading. So if I scroll down. All I've done is copy and paste everything in from my method about making my bread. Again, I'm using technical language rather than put. I want the word sieve. All right. I've got some of my checks in here um, and then I've got make a well. All right. You should have these from your method. We've then got prove. We've got need in there. All these keywords, you don't have to highlight them in yellow. I'm just popping them in there so you understand all right and then we've got our five minutes and we've got our double in size these are all key terms that need to be in your method so you need to explain but you need to be popping in the detail as well the next bit so what was i doing next go back up here oh yes preparing my pasta okay so scroll down and I've got my preparation for my pasta. Notice I've done it in the different colours. Medium bowl, making it into um, a stiff dough. All right. And then we need for three to four minutes. So there's more points to highlight, but you've got the main steps. Now, given that you have made shortbread, you have made bread and you have made pasta, 
it would be a good idea to have a wash up and wipe down. And I've left those deliberately in black so that you can see quite clearly um, the, where the natural breaks are. At this point, this has taken 15 minutes. You might find that this might have taken you to here. You should be checking on your shortbread. I'm looking at this thinking now, I'm going to insert a row before I wash up and wipe down. I think I'm going to check on that shortbread. All right. Because I think I might have taken 15 minutes to do those steps. You might manoeuvre that later on and find out it's different. And then you can just delete out that row. Right mouse click, highlight the row. Right mouse click, delete row. Okay. I'm going to paste this template into an email all right, document. Okay, so that you can then uh, just edit it in the email if you want to. I'm going to put this in the in the um, on the show my homework as a Word document that you can edit. But I know some of you are struggling with Word, so um, if you are normally handwriting it, do this in the email. It will make your life a lot easier, um, as opposed to if if you can, if you can. I'm just trying to think for you. Bless you. Okay, so following on, I've taken my shortbread out. Notice. I popped in technical terms, but this time the oven temperature is different for my lasagna. All right. So I'm actually turning the oven up to, and actually that should be a number six. So I'm turning the oven up to, uh, actually this is for the pizza, turn it up to 200. All right. Gas mark six. So I'm pop that into the colour. Notice I'm just going to make that right into the colour for the pizza. So I'm showing the examiner that I'm taking my push up bread right out. I've turned the oven up to the correct temperature for the pizza and then I've decided I'm going to go and make my pizza now. I'm going to do my tomato sauce. OK, so I could go and add that um, and then I'm moving on. I'm going to do my bolognese mix and then eventually I'm going to come back and do my lemon cheesecake topping and so on. OK. Notice we are not doing one product, wash up, wipe down, make the second product, wash up, wipe down, make the third product, wash up and wipe down. We're not doing that at all. We need to show to the examiner that we can dovetail the tasks. And that just means interlacing them appropriately, not for the sake of it. It's far more time efficient uh, that you've got your uh, tasks interlaced. So next, we're going to go and think about timings. And this is an estimation. At the start, you're going to go think, right, how long will it take me if I'm using a food processor? How long will it take me right, to make my shortbread? The reality is, all right, I would say potentially five minutes to blitz it up. All right. Maximum of 10 minutes. You might even get away with five. So I literally I'm going to go um, 9.10. I want it as a clock time, not the amount of time it's taking you when you're under pressure. You'll be looking at your watch all the time. And you remember, you can have a timer so you can set your timer for 15 minutes. The reality is that's going in at 9.10. So your shortbread's going in at 9.10. Then this has got to be coming out at 10, 20, 9.25. So this one here, 9.25. I'll pop that in already. All right. How long is it going to take you? Um, so I've allowed 15 minutes for this. I might get me washing up in. I might actually get that in because I would think, see, I don't even think. And now I'm thinking with myself, will it really take me that amount of time to make my shortbread? I don't think it will. So I'm going to change that. 905. Therefore, this means I can change this to 920. And then I've got a 15 minute window. So that starts 905. Right. And then I will literally go, how long is this going to take me? You know, and it might take uh, 10 minutes because you've got to need for five. So that might be 9.15. And then I've got my shortbread. All right. And then we're going to wash up. So take out, turn up the oven. It might not take five minutes, but you can pop your 9.25 in now. Maybe five minutes for that. So by 9.30. All right. You are literally on to tomato sauce in half an hour. All right, you should have made your shortbread, made your bread, made your pasta, 
taking your shortbread out of the oven, washed up and wiped down, ready to go. Okay, so think logic. Don't worry too much about the timings at the start. Get going, do what you can. And you, as, you, as I showed you, you can move, you can add columns in, add rows in, you can move them around accordingly. Okay, um, and if we have a look, so I'll view, pan out, multi pages, you can see it's much easier. We'll view slightly further in. It's much easier to see the different colours as you're in that practical. Okay, um, under that time pressure, you can see the colours. You can it tells your brain right. Okay, blues pizza swirls. You know, quiche is green. All right, red is cheesecake. At the end of it, read through your method and what I want you to check for. Have I used key language and phrases? Have I mentioned times and temperatures? OK, and then have I put things in the oven? This is a common mistake. Have I then taken them out of the oven? Again, another common mistake. We might put them in the oven, then we forget. Notice what I did. I went and straight away and did the take out later on and then filled it in. Um, and then you need to make sure you're adjusting your temperature. As I've shown you here, I'm turning up the oven because I know that my pizza needs a hot is a hotter oven than it would be for my cheesecake base. And eventually you'll work through this plan here with all your numbers in. And then you'll end up building up your time plan. Presenting your product. Try here to explain in your time plan precisely how you will actually present your product. Um, so I want you to, you know, it may well be that you are going to, you know, uh, present your a range of your pizza spirals in a circular sort of shape with a salad in the middle. You may well have your lasagna as an individual dish with your wedges maybe in a little bucket and the cheesecake. You may explain to them that you're going to pipe the cream on, that you may well have slices of strawberries and that you may have a strawberry coulis over the top. You need to precisely explain to the examiner how you intend to present your products. Remember, you need to interweave washing up and wiping down as you go along. So if I look now at my time plan, given that I've made my tomato sauce and done a lot of chopping, again, a lot of chopping here, and then I've made my cheesecake. Once I'm here, I might insert another washing up. So literally, all I'm going to do is go and copy that one and paste it in and then you work through your time plan any questions any questions whatsoever please just send me an email i am more than happy to reply as quickly as i can alternatively i can give you a quick call at your convenience i'd then like the time plans to be emailed back to me um, by sunday so that i can then check them through ultimately we're doing our time plan this week Next week, we're going to think about our sensory evaluation words and the last week of term, I'm, uh, I'd like you to think about organising to see if you can do your full practical. I appreciate that's an awful lot, but you could even do it over the course of the summer holidays and send me your pictures. All right. Any questions, please, you know me, get in touch. I'm more than happy to help. All right. Good luck. All right. Keep in touch. If you need me, you know where I am. Take care. Bye-bye.